good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Cosimo Yacielo and uh, I should have been uh, uh, in uh, Midas uh, seminar in uh, New Delhi and uh, in uh, Mumbai, but uh, I couldn't make it because of the epidemic of uh, coronavirus, uh, which is uh, spreading over uh, mostly uh, Europe. Uh, the presentation and uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, what the presentation I would like to show you is regarding the engineering uh, uh, approaches in uh, uh, in tunneling, in particular referring to the uh, modeling uh, criteria. Uh, from this point of view, uh, the index of presentation is divided in what we could uh, define as the input data, the geology and the geotechnical input uh, uh, for uh, the model, the hydrogeological conditions, and the construction uh, emitted. Uh, these uh, three uh, points uh, should uh, be assuming what is uh, the tunneling empirical uh, calculations, which are uh, based on uh, uh, split shirts or uh, abacus or uh, some sort of uh, uh, empirical calculation without any uh, rough number. Uh, then we are going uh, into the deep design with the tunneling analytical uh, calculations, in particular the convergence confinement uh, curve, the reaction curves and whatever. And then finally we uh, could uh, go deeper in the, the uh, numerical approaches in uh, approaches in tunneling uh, using uh, different uh, the more the three more different uh, uh, software is uh, Flux Flux 3D, uh, Midas or uh, Axis. Uh, then we could uh, highlight some particular cases of modeling where uh, the analytical and the empirical calculations cannot be um, uh, used uh, during this uh, type of uh, uh, cases. Then the geotechnical and the, the uh, structural risk and what is the real power of uh, uh, modeling. Uh, finally, the forensic analysis employing uh, uh, MIDAS GTS and the uh, conclusions. Uh, regarding the geological and uh, uh, geotechnical input data, it's important uh, um, at early stage of a uh, project to have uh, the uh, most information we could, uh, uh, we could have in uh, our, uh, in our uh, report. Uh, the result of this uh, geological and uh, geotechnical input data has to be the so-called geotechnical uh, profile. Uh, this profile is important uh, from an engineering point of view because we can identify clearly and uh, uh, from uh, uh, the very beginning the uh, sections where we have to carry out our calculations and the possible uh, risks uh, associated with our uh, underground structure can be fault areas uh, or areas where the hydrogeological is not clear or where we have a uh, Versa uh, possible of uh, a very high stress uh, uh, tensions and whatever. The same, what is the, the, the geological and geotechnical deep tunnels is mm, the, the characteristic of the features of the, uh, the geology, like uh, the density of the rock, the um, uniaxial compressive strength, the uh, young modulus, and etc And uh, the, uh, the soil, uh, um, the rock mass classification can be RMR, can be Cody Barton, can be the GSI, doesn't matter because these uh, classification systems are uh, correlated uh, and they are studied um, between them, so it is, uh, <clears throat> it is not important which, uh, uh, which rock mass uh, classification we use, the important and we, are, uh, um, we have to use uh, uh, one for all uh, uh, the project. No? It, it's uh, also normal that for, uh, for example, for a shale or for a marble, it's better to use a GSI than uh, for, uh, well, no, for a granite which we use uh, uh, without any problem and uh, have a matter. Then the geotechnical parameters for the rock mass, uh, depending on the, which soil model we are using, uh, is a cohesion friction angle for the globe or uh, the M, S and A parameters if we are using the Oak Brown uh, uh, criteria. Important also is the uh, permeability, 
uh, because in uh, some cases we could have a, a higher risk uh, of uh, uh, water flow for uh, the second because of the second permeability of uh, of the rocks, and uh, uh, the uh, excavability, uh, which is also um, very important in order to uh, define uh, the uh, structure needed. Uh, finally, um, there are some criteria. In, uh, at this stage, uh, between uh, the uh, drilling and plastic uh, criteria or uh, the conventional excavation. This is uh, also about excavability, about impermeability, and, and uh, water. The second condition is uh, important is the hydrogeological, uh, which uh, uh, plays a fundamental role in um, in uh, soil, so in uh, urban uh, environments, but also uh, in uh, uh, rock. Uh, tunnels where uh, we could uh, have uh, some uh, water discharge and this water discharge can uh, uh, at the end of the day uh, deteriorate our rock mass and uh, losing the uh, its main features which is the uh, the resistance the, the later resistance of the, of the rock mass here in the hydrogeological conditions we are uh, we have the qualitative uh, method which are just uh, Evaluate the site investigations. Uh, uh, have a rough and high-level number regarding the uh, possible uh, um, hydrogeological conditions and possible uh, uh, risk. Then we have the quantitative uh, uh, methods. These are based on uh, the hydraulic tests, the discharge, and uh, the quantitative method can be, for example, employed um, very easily in uh, uh, numerical uh, analysis. Uh, and then finally we have the mathematical method which have the analytical solutions for example if we are thinking about an excavation in urban area in, under the groundwater uh, table is the so-called depuy uh, depression uh, cone which is the analytical solution uh, then also in some uh, particular cases and we can see some of them in uh, one of them in uh, this uh, um, in uh, this presentation, we can approach also a numerical uh, uh, solution. Uh, this is uh, something uh, I would like to uh, highlight because uh, um, it's based on uh, uh, my experience in regarding the geological conditions, and it is an uh, important feature, an important term of the uh, geotechnical profile um, in order to better capture the really um, uh, deep and the really uh, variation on the rock strata, it's important uh, not to carry out uh, bog holes uh, vertical. Some of them can be with uh, uh, an intermission angle, not a lot, like 5 degrees or something like that, to also identify the so-called water paths, uh, which is the, uh, which, which are at the end of the day the, the paths where the water could uh, um, have more uh, um, facility or more uh, could uh, um, could work more and could be uh, could have more uh, uh, dangerous uh, uh, response. Uh, then um, regarding also the geological conditions is something I um, I would like to highlight here because some of clients uh, sometimes they don't understand. Uh, which are the real model, which we can see here on uh, on the left with the conceptual model that we can employ in uh, um, in our calculation. Uh, it, it, at the end of the day, each numerical solution is in the mean, in minus, in plaques, in plaxis, and whatever is uh, mm, an approximation to the reality, but can't be the exactly the uh, the reality how it is. No? Um, in this case, so we have here a discontinuity of, of uh, the, um, the rock mass, and this discontinuity is important because for this discontinuity we could, uh, as you can see, uh, it starts from the surface and can be like a, a certain depth. So here we can we could have some water inflow in our model, in minus or in flat or whatever. We have to. Uh, reproduce this uh, um, this uh, uh, discontinuity but we can't reproduce so um, so in deep with a deeper um, position you know, we uh, could, uh, could uh, study the reality then uh, finally um, the latest uh, uh, point to highlight is the construction method the construction method uh, can be um, 
it, it depends on again, the it's evident it depends on the geology, the geotechnical and the individual hydrogeological conditions, but also depends on the, the environment we are working. Is, uh, if, for example, we are using a drill and blast, we can use a drill and blast in a deep mountain uh, tunnel, but uh, it is um, not uh, uh, suggested to use a drill and blast uh, uh, criteria, for example, in a urban area because of the pollution, because of the um, possible uh, uh, over-excavation, because of the possible uh, uh, dangerous uh, things we could create with a um, with an and you know, this is for example, uh, um, for example, it's just a, a silly example. No, another could be the employee of a TBM or APB. Uh, it's not the same to employing uh, an uh, APB uh, for a tunnel of um, 10 kilometers length regarding a tunnel of uh, one kilometers. Mm, also, this can be also discussed because in some uh, uh, project I was involved in. Uh, during my uh, experience, uh, we have uh, instructed by our clients to employ IPB when uh, with, uh, the tunnel is, uh, uh, is not so length, so the, uh, um, this theoretically is not, uh, is not suggested to do it, but they wanted to employ, for example, IPB to limit it or to uh, avoid uh, uh, problems of, uh, uh, of the footage, no? Uh, at the end of the day, the construction method uh, has to be uh, studied in detail, uh, has to be, uh, the engineer should uh, present a, um, a very deep analysis about the uh, risks and opportunities of each construction uh, uh, method. And then uh, the construction method is what, at the end of the day, we have to uh, check with uh, uh, our uh, numerical solutions, because um, the analytical and uh, the empirical criteria, they are based on uh, um, some, uh, um, I would say, some hypotheses uh, which do, do not uh, take uh, into account uh, the, uh, the construction, the construction effects, no? Uh, for example, one of the most complicated uh, construction methods is uh, the so-called uh, uh, Neurostrian uh, uh, method, where we have uh, a different uh, sectioning of the uh, tunneling uh, uh, section. No? Here, this uh, um, work we were uh, uh, doing in Algeria, we have uh, uh, six, uh, um, six construction sequences plus a double uh, micropile uh, uh, umbrella uh, at the again, to um, to resist or to um, to work like a shield uh, of, uh, um, not to have a uh, tunnel uh, tunnel uh, shallow uh, problems no um, so this uh, this is important to uh, validate this uh, construction method with uh, uh, numerical uh, calculations and this is uh, where uh, uh, powerful of a, uh, of a software more than another is, uh, um, is, uh, is highlighted. No? Also, uh, there is something I would like to highlight uh, that in the construction method, this is the same project, we have to analyze it, we have to highlight the uh, details. No? <coughs> in Europe, we say that the double is uh, in the details. No? Because in some cases, in tunneling, uh, we can check the global uh, structure. Uh, which is working, which doesn't have a <coughs> sorry any problem, but uh, the details in this case is the connection between the uh, the different uh, sections of the trusses, uh, which has which is this detail can uh, has to be checked with uh, um, has to be checked in detail because uh, in these cases can use, uh, um, some sort of uh, um, of uh, um, out of plane uh, stresses, no. Uh, this is the section where we have uh, the same section we have uh, with the um, secondary lining. Secondary lining is uh, 0 0.5 meters of uh, uh, concrete and here as you can see we have the uh, cross passage. Um, so uh, regarding the empirical calculation of first lining, I mean of the um, this is the, the so-called uh, uh, Bible <laughs> of Benyaski of 1989. Uh, as you can see here, we came, we came from rock mass classification from the very good to very poor, and this is the, the typical uh, uh, excavation. No? 
this uh, criteria is uh, good, but it's good, for example, if you're working in a tender, if we are working like an off number, if we have uh, um, to answer to, or we have to put a high level prices of, uh, of something uh, very uh, high level. For example, if we are uh, doing a, a tender, or if we are working in, uh, to check how much could cost the tunnel, but well, this is uh, this uh, calculation is uh, this empirical calculation is very good because more than this empirical calculation is impossible to um, to, to to have. No, I mean, then we have uh, the other empirical calculation is uh, based on the Q uh, factor, and uh, this is uh, the uh, expression mathematical expression of the Q. The button was working in Norway in the granite of Norway, so. This uh, uh, empirical calculation, for example, for um, sedimentary or for metamorphic uh, rocks should be used with uh, extreme uh, caution because it's extreme uh, detail because it can be um, can be result in uh, um, no conservative uh, design uh, approach. And uh, then we have the tunnel analytical calculations. As I told, this uh, the um, curve, uh, the confinement uh, convergence uh, curves, and it's very important um, to use the um, what we call the characteristic line method because this uh, um, gives us also the uh, one information is very, very important, in particular in. Um, in tunnels where uh, we are in urban areas when we want to control and to avoid the possible uh, uh, supplements. Uh, they are uh, um, they are like uh, um, the deformations hmm? which are uh, um, and the extrusion, the confining extrusion uh, uh, line. Uh, then we have uh, the another uh, uh, tunneling uh, um, <coughs> analytical uh, calculation, the, the further uh, research stage, and here we have, uh, depending on uh, this uh, equilibrium of uh, tension, we have uh, the elastic, where is the front is stable, hmm, as you can see. Then we have the extrusion, where the comportment, the behavior is uh, elastoplastic, is uh, stable in the short term. And uh, here the stresses are deviated till uh, the uh, side walls of the um, of the tunnel, and then we have a, a failure where um, sorry, failure when we have uh, the face failure of the of the front. This has to be avoided, and the front is unstable, and we will have a, a tunnel collapse. Uh, um, most of uh, uh, of clients, uh, when uh, I'm uh, using uh, meters, uh, um, they uh, want uh, a comparative or comparison between meters and uh, other softwares. No, uh, can be uh, Plaxis or can be Flux 3D. Most because uh, they um, they are accustomed to using Flux uh, uh, 3D. And uh, uh, so we, uh, as we already <laughs> uh, have this sort of experience, we uh, provided a, a, um, already a number of uh, uh, of these of these values. No, so for example, in, in our case, I compare the flux 3D vertices uh, and meters GDS with these uh, features. It's a classical tunneling. It's um, the excavation and the construction method. Is very simple, and uh, um, these are the uh, results in uh, uh, in meters. Mm, it's um, ax the axial and maximum axial is uh, 1,125 kilonewton, and uh, the maximum moment is uh, 17 kilonewton per meter. And uh, this is uh, the um, flux the flux uh, analysis. As you can see, the moment is almost uh, any moment is almost the same, and the axial is the flux is uh, Slightly, um, slightly more, but it's um, in the same order of uh, uh, magnitude. No, um, this is important to um, cover this sort of examples because uh, some clients are more, uh, uh, some clients or some other consultants are more uh, uh, proficient with uh, another software more than than, uh, than uh, Vitas, for example. No. 
What is the, the powerful of uh, modeling uh, in miners? But first of all, uh, the powerful is um, first of all is uh, that we can uh, speak between uh, the geotechnical and the structural component of the miners. We can speak between GTS and ECIS and the miners uh, uh, civil. And uh, then uh, we, uh, from the technical point of view, we have uh, already implemented in MIDAS um, a batteries of uh, all the soil uh, models. We don't have to uh, create our own models, for example, like in, uh, in FLAC. And uh, we also have uh, uh, implemented a lot of uh, um, structural, like you can see in this slide, as you can, a lot of structural uh, components. So the user is uh, is very uh, easy for the user to implement the different uh, uh, different sections or different uh, combination you know, of, uh, of, uh, of section no? and this is very uh, very important because they speed up the uh, what is the, the geotechnical profile what is the geotechnical calculations without the structural uh, checking and um, for example, this is a, a section of, uh, as you can see, of um, an atom, and now a sphere uh, meter is uh, composed by the excavation of the um, the excavation of the bench, the excavation uh, of uh, the inverse arc, and then we have the the postlinear excavation, and it is uh, very easy how we can uh, uh, model it, and we have the first lining and then the uh, the second. Uh, the second line. No? Uh, regarding the modeling and MIDAS, um, here in this slide I uh, collect uh, all the possible uh, things we can do in MIDAS. We can uh, work with a uh, 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 high uh, uh, with a very uh, deep tunnel, like in uh, uh, in this case, we can work uh, like in this case where we have to identify a section of uh, uh, ground treatment uh, or, uh, or where the hydraulic uh, uh, conditions are different uh, from the BOVA uh, model. So in this case, we could also study the inflow in tunnel, and we can have a, a number. This is very appreciated when we are working. Or the um, design, uh, because uh, the uh, inflow analysis in the tunnel is um, quite complicated. In some cases, it's uh, difficult to evaluate. Here, there are some cases, and uh, also um, uh, some clients. Uh, for example, in the technical specifications, they tell that uh, uh, calculations have to be undertaken with one software, which is uh, uh, difficult. But it's um, it's, uh, it's important for us to 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 preparing also this uh, um, this calculation. Uh, these are the uh, comparison between flat and meters, and uh, this is what I I showed before uh, regarding the the excavation process, which is can be also. Um, can be easily understood by uh, everyone. And uh, these are some features in tunneling. And I was here is regarding the uh, output of uh, MIDAS, which offers a very um, good, uh, uh, very battery of uh, different outputs can be uh, used uh, for uh, engineering uh, judgment, like, uh, for example, the, the shear, the bending, uh, and axial, but also um, can have uh, an influence, for example, for uh, damage assessment, for um, uh, hydraulic failure, and, and uh, no? mm, this also uh, is um, another uh, the both classical both. This with midas is very easy to. Um, to design the boards because we have a, a, a pattern and we can use a pattern in our calculation. For example, in FLAC, we have to define in boards um, for which design phase the boards with a different angle. So we have to program a fish uh, to do it, which is uh, uh, time uh, uh, consuming. In MIDAS, this is uh, uh, automatic. And um, also, which is interesting, is uh, the uh, interaction diagram for different uh, phases which can be 
uh, result uh, if our design like in this case is uh, quite uh, conservative because we are quite far from uh, the border or uh, like in this case we uh, have uh, done an adjustment of the same section we have done an, an adjustment of uh, the uh, of the section to uh, result in uh, a value uh, engineering no? this is uh, very easy to do with the uh, miners because we can have um, a resume of uh, each uh, face um, in, uh, in, in the interaction diagram and it is very very easy no um, then uh, another issue uh, is important to model and um, it's not only the tunneling but also how the portals no uh, I don't know if you can see my screen I assume uh, I assume so if I don't see any uh, comment um, so here is a classical a classical example of the front uh, the frontal portal where we are going to excavate the tunnel and which are the lateral portals mm -hmm. Uh, this uh, normally in uh, the engineering practice we use uh, a software like Plaxis or something like that to uh, analyze these uh, sections uh, by separate um, without uh, taking into account the uh, 3D uh, behavior of this uh, tunneling. This uh, approach is good, is, uh, is something we, we use uh, uh, every day but in some cases the, the 3D uh, analysis is, uh, is uh, very important. No? For example, when we are using uh, um, like uh, a soil block to reduce uh, the possible uh, uh, extrusion of the front in the first uh, uh, meters, hmm? so this is the case where uh, it's important also to study the extrusion and so to study the 3D. Like for example in this case, where we have a, um, a, this is a layer of a colluvial, this is a, a rock with a grade uh, 4, this is a rock with a grade 3, so in this case uh, has to be studied the 3D um, behavior just to uh, take into account the rigidity, the transverse rigidity of uh, this, uh, uh, this, piling, uh, uh, this piling wall, no? And uh, mm, this uh, is a uh, I mean, it's not easy, but it's uh, easier to do it in uh, uh, in uh, Midas than uh, in flat. In Midas, we have um, an option, which is uh, the um, option terrain uh, maker, uh, which uh, can uh, uh, manage the uh, coordinates, the, topo the topographical and the survey uh, coordinates, and can be uh, implemented uh, quite uh, easy with in, uh, uh, in our, uh, in our world, no? uh, this is uh, an example of the tunneling uh, portal this is uh, the same uh, um, uh, the same section we have uh, uh, seen before with the six uh, um, uh, construction sequences and here is uh, the construction sequences where you can see the micro file you can see where we can install the first lining the first lining is here, this is the second lining, and uh, we can, uh, we can uh, uh, study everything in detail with, uh, uh, without losing uh, um, any uh, structural uh, detail. It's very, very important for us. Uh, the other uh, uh, case where uh, um, modeling, uh, this is something I, I added in my presentation, because still now, still, uh, the portals, the tunnels, and the number, we can work with uh, 2D analysis or with um, almost with uh, uh, something uh, very easy from a conservative point of view, uh, and depending also on the, um, the judgment of the engineer. No? However, uh, there are uh, uh, cases where uh, we cannot uh, um, work in, uh, into the analysis and it's very difficult to work in 2D because we cannot capture the, uh, what we want to study. One case is uh, the cross passages. Is, uh, uh, this is a case of the cross passages. This is the main tunnel. This is uh, what we call the, the increment of lining. This is uh, a typical cross passages of uh, um, 
a TBM. As you can see, this has to be with uh, uh, micropiles. This uh, micropiles that we install a uh, steel uh, uh, um, a steel frame in uh, our uh, section. And then once we can uh, uh, fulfill this uh, steel with, uh, uh, with concrete, then we can uh, uh, we can excavate the uh, cross passage. No, another example of cross passages, depending on uh, is uh, depending on diameter, is uh, with the horizontal um, uh, boring, which is uh, uh, this. It's an example when I perforate, I reach the other tunnel, and then I um, I change the the, the head of uh, my micro tunneling, and uh, I execute the uh, second to uh, to launch to to the first. No, at the end of the day, this is an example of uh, 3D. This is a, a, a tunneling is substrate. This is excavating in uh, excavation in the and. Uh, 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 bench and this is uh, the uh, complete uh, section so as you can see we excavated first the small then the big one and then we excavated the cross passages and uh, the result is uh, this is the increment of tension in uh, um, in the cross passages which are uh, at the end of the day results in an increment of steel bars and uh, or a portal frame to uh, reduce these uh, um, these values and to have our design uh, compliance with uh, uh, with standard. No? Um, this is uh, uh, another case of cross passages when you can see uh, the theoretically horizontal convergence, which is uh, the distance which is these two point. This is from Midas. This is the measure. And as you can see, um, for a small uh, uh, depth between uh, 100 meters, we are more or less on the same. Here, we are uh, losing a bit these uh, values because uh, uh, we didn't uh, have uh, um, the rock mass was uh, was uh, much uh, uh, much better than what we established in our uh, in our design. But then for 600 meters, well, uh, it's um, the most uh, uh, most important cases. Our uh, theoretical horizontal convergence from Midas was uh, more or less uh, in the middle <laughs> of uh, the, the horizontal uh, horizontal convergence. No? So in this case, uh, uh, we could. Uh, um, I mean, we are we were. Uh, quite uh, uh, safe with our uh, mm, finite element uh, design. No? Another case very really important are the shafts. This is a shaft in uh, London. We are uh, uh, designing for the Silvertown tunneling. This is uh, a four pinot and here there is a retrieval chamber. The, the TBM is launching from uh, this pinot. Which, uh, another point here is a rotation is not uh, this presentation, then from the rotation, the TBM starting till the, uh, the retrieval. It's this sort of calculations is uh, basically very, very difficult to reproduce in, free, in uh, 2D analysis because here we have uh, an axial symmetric uh, uh, or uh, a different shape. We have uh, here like contourforts. Here we have some piling till uh, uh, depth, and then we have a different pile, different diameter from this depth to another one. So here we have uh, struts like in horizontal, here we have uh, um, inclined uh, struts. So it's very, very difficult to reproduce it uh, in 3D. So we, we go directly to, uh, to 3D analysis. And the particular cases of this modeling is uh, the geotechnical uh, change challenging uh, uh, parameters because uh, we are working in London, so with a um, different soil model, with a uh, um, um, with a hardening soil uh, and drainage deep. The groundwater level is very high and it's sensitive to the watering system um, because we can uh, excavate without the watering. The EPB tunnel intersection. The face edge plays a fundamental role in analysis, depending on where we are excavating and which part we are excavating. The um, stresses onto the piling and onto the shaft can uh, change, and on the soil structure, elevation has to be analyzed in the in no? 
So this is uh, our peanut. This is not uh, showed uh, uh, retrieval yet because we are studying uh, it, but we are uh, doing the model. So this is excavation of peanuts, the excavation of tunneling. And uh, here we uh, have something uh, important that I would like to highlight. This is the groundwater um, calculations here. This uh, analysis uh, has uh, uh, carried out with, uh, have been carried out with uh, uh, they are completed uh, flow analysis, which means that uh, the program calculated the flow and, uh, in, and then implemented the uh, deformations uh, derived by flow analysis in uh, our uh, uh, structural uh, uh, stiffness uh, uh, matrix. And as you can see, we start from the initial uh, stage, we have the static uh, pressure. Till uh, here, where we have uh, the when we reach the bottom of excavation, the flow slide, and you can see here we have uh, the flow, and this is very very important to evaluate uh, the pressure the pressurization cone in order to evaluate the, um, for example, the, uh, the sediments of the uh, excavation. No? Another um, thing I would like to highlight is the vertical display the displacement. Uh, this is when we reach the, the bottom excavation. This is the vertical displacement. As you can see, we have uh, the, uh, the vertical displacement are more or less in uh, uh, at the slab. And then after the tunnel excavation, here, as you can see, we reach uh, more or less uh, 21 millimeters. If I did uh, in the same example with the plaxis, I reach 78. So in this case, uh, uh, we have to uh, watch out which type of program we are uh, we are using because uh, is, if I have to control 78 millimeters of, of uh, horizontal uh, displacement or vertical or whatever, it's not the same to control the 28 millimeters uh, of, uh, uh, of it. So the, the structural response of uh, of the, stru the structural response is uh, totally uh, different. So this case is more attractive to use uh, a 3D analysis because we can offer a better solution to our, uh, to our client. Uh, then, um, where, uh, based on my experience, where really the modeling is very, very, very powerful is uh, in the geotechnical structural risk and what is called the forensic. You know? This is not uh, the design because at the, end of the, at the end of the day, maybe if we approach uh, a, a numerical calculation or an analytical solution, we can uh, uh, start working between, I don't know, 10 millimeters or 20 millimeters of shock fit or whatever. But uh, when we are identifying the risks and uh, how the risks uh, can impact our design, this is the power of model. For example, uh, the, uh, what we can do for um, ex exclusion of the uh, form what we can do if we have um, a discontinuity or a fault area, and how the asymmetric load uh, can uh, uh, work on our structure. If we have some problems with uh, um, local or failure of our surface. All these cases can be studied and can be analyzed very, I um, would not say very easy, but uh, uh, in detail with uh, uh, the finite element analysis. Here is uh, the power network, for example, we are using uh, uh, a lot of uh, programs like MIDAS or like uh, PLAC. You know? For example, um, this is an example, this is a tunnel, very shallow tunnel, uh, during, an, um, during uh, the, uh, yes, the, the, the tunnel design, we decided to, in order to uh, not having collapse of this area, we provided a, a concrete um, embankment uh, to uh, offer more uh, uh, self weight of this uh, of this structure, and uh, um, and so in this case the TBM would excavate uh, uh, quietly uh, safe. Well, okay, this is what happens that we have a failure. So this is uh, a failure of the surface. Here you can see what is the rest of the of the concrete, you can see also the fibers we used for in this embankment, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so to analyze uh, to analyze it, we um, 
we create through the analysis with the, this uh, concrete with the displacement, the displacement uh, in um, in e, e axis in the longitudinal axis to understand the reaction of uh, uh, this um, of this element and uh, to uh, carry out a, a value of a uh, back analysis no also in uh, uh, in uh, this case we have a, a we have the same we have a displacement of uh, vertical uh, uh, displacement and uh, the risk uh, which could uh, uh, highlight in, uh, in, uh, in this case no? this is one of uh, most cases we have analyzed with, uh, with uh, measures and uh, we are quite uh, happy with this, uh, um, with this software no? Uh, this is also the elastic um, uh, solid strain um, plastic where we uh, use uh, in, uh, in our calculation hmm, to understand how is can read the mechanism of the uh, of the rupture we, we, we had, no? and then uh, the conclusions no but uh, first of all the finite element analysis is a powerful tool but never can uh, uh, can substitute the good judgment of the engineer. I mean, at the end of the day, we are engineers. Uh, we are using the fin element analysis as a tool, so we uh, cannot. Uh, uh, we have to feed our numerical analysis not on the reverse. Then we have an experience regarding geotechnical fin element. Uh, more than geotechnical parameters are important, and the governing is uh, the soil models. Uh, the watering of fluid couple model have to implement it when it's really required and always supporting with a hand calculation because uh, the, the watering can extremely change the conditions of uh, our model so it has to be used with a uh, very very careful um, other relation is uh, regarding the interface elements uh, between a soil and a structure in some cases for example in a deep tunnel are not needed uh, but for example, in uh, uh, in the case that we have seen about the shaft uh, is uh, is very uh, required even with a nonlinear uh, behavior. And then the relating experience uh, we have in Midas since uh, 2015 is uh, like five years we were working in Midas. We were working um, before in Plaxis. Uh, Plaxis uh, was still working. We were working in Plax. Comparing with the Plax and Plaxis, Midas is more user friendly. So the Plax and Plaxis, they are working hard to uh, make their, uh, um, their software uh, easier to for the user and uh, to be employed. In particular, Flack uh, needs a very deep improvement, uh, in particular of the output. Most of the output are, are, are difficult to take from, uh, from Plax. No? In Midas, the generation of the model is very quick. And uh, in geotechnical uh, models, this is very, very appreciated because um, we analyze different uh, um, sections uh, with different, uh, maybe with different construction sequences and uh, generation of a model. Easy generation of a model is very, very uh, appreciated. And then the seismic and hydraulic and heat calculation, this is the most important, are very easy to be implemented. For example, uh, to implement uh, dynamic analysis in uh, FLAC is very very easy because it's mesh dependent. So we have to be we have to watch out in FLAC to do a, a seismic analysis because it's uh, mesh dependent. Midas not. So Midas you can implement directly with the accelerogram and uh, with the accelerogram you can do you can run your uh, uh, dynamic analysis. The same for hydraulic hydraulic. Uh, for example, in uh, FLAC, you, you have to initialize in the pore pressure and changing the pore pressure with uh, an, uh, a low. You have to implement this low. In MIDAS, you can work with, uh, uh, the, um, for example, the boundary hydraulic conditions. And at each, at the, each stage, you can, uh, uh, if you want to do manually, you can tell uh, uh, which uh, uh, hydraulic, uh, um, uh, hydraulic or pore pressure you have it. In some uh, uh, in some uh, node, or you can implement directly different uh, uh, water tables. So it's really very very um, user friendly. Uh, this is uh, at the end of the day the conclusions of uh, my uh, my experience.
Minas. I don't know if you have uh, some questions or if you can follow uh, all my uh, presentation mm, and if you can see all if you have seen your my my slides. Okay. Mm -hmm.